Okay, YouTubers. I'm pretty much a novice at anything to do with cars and electrics, so I've gathered this information from other more ex experienced people on YouTube and on forums online, so, but I think I've got this correct because it does seem to work. So what am I doing here? My CD player wasn't working, it had the old classic CD was getting stuck in there and wouldn't come out. So I took it apart and basically I completely ruined it. The more I seemed to delve around in there, the worse I got. So I've taken all the internals out of here. Um, the only reason I've kept this is just so I could get the part number off it. I looked at replacing it. You can't really do that because you can't buy a new one. You may be able to, I suppose, but Nissan are going to charge you a bucket load. Um, you can get a second hand one but then you have to have it decoded, recoded, it's all a lot of expense and a major pain in the butthole. So what I've opted for is to completely forego all of that which means that this knob will effectively be useless and all the controls for the um, radio will be useless as will these buttons here. I've gone for, I, I thought I might as well just bite the bullet and go for a a newer, up-to-date Bluetooth stereo. And I don't even need CDs anymore. I mean, I was burning CDs recently in 2019. Who burned CDs in 2019? It just feels so wrong. So I've got this one, which I can now play through my phone and has a Bluetooth, uh, sorry, USB port, so I can charge my phone. Anyway, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of this. These are the cables that would have gone into the back of the CD player. This one is the main one you're concerned with. This one is largely speaker cables and power. And the only one, you, the only wire you need to worry about on this one, on the big one, excuse me, on the big one, is this earth cable, which I've managed to pull out the back of here. That's all you need. Uh, there's a brilliant um, how-to guide, which is where I got started on the Nissan Almira owner's website which i'll post a link to you have to be a member to read it but i'll post a link to that this is the aerial if you put that don't put that in that doesn't work so how are we going to do this i've sort of jumped ahead of myself um done a few steps ahead so i'm just going to show you sorry about the sunlight it's an unusually hot day in february in the uk which is right now this does I know some people may say it's not that easy, but my one certainly was the first time. It literally just pops off. There's no bolts or anything holding it in. So you've got to imagine my CD player is still in there connected to all this, right? Then this part has two screws. One there and one there holding it in. Like that. I've already taken those out. Here's one I made earlier. So that's going to come off of there. I'm just going to pause this video for a second. Okay, it's got this has got like the warning triangle cable in the back of it and the climate control cable in the back. So they're a bit of a pain to get out. I don't really want to take them out, so that's why I'm holding this here. But you can see this cage here, this metal cage that I've fixed this into with. Uh, let's have a look down here. You see that 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 Phillips screw there, machine screw. It's a five mil. That one there. So I've obviously already fitted that into this cage. You have to take the cage out and there's just four screws holding it in place. You'll find where they are. So I will now start to look at the cabling. I'll just pause for, again for a second. So I'm just going to take a look at the cables that we've got. Now, the guide that I start off with, uh, the guy cut the cables. He cut the these ones that are attached to the car because he used a generic ISO cable. The ISO cable is this thing here. It's a standard, this is fairly standard for all car radios, but these connectors are standard ISO, you know, some sort of international standard. Also, the coloring of the cables is, is pretty standard. So, he just cut these off here and then directly attach them to the wires here by cutting these connectors off but you don't that maybe that post was 
quite old maybe this has been created since then for an aftermarket but this works perfectly this is uh that's the code ct 20 ns04 i contacted a company and asked them i was quite unsure why there was only one connector when there's actually two there but you're since you're only connecting the black cable to the large connector which is the earth which goes into that one so you pull the black out of that connect it to this and you forget the rest of that and then this one connects directly into here so no cutting of cables needed it's very very neat and then these two will fit into the back of my stereo unit you see they go in that and they actually match up uh, the colors there for the speakers match up perfectly with the colors in this cable and the same with the other set of cables the blue is an antenna is, is if you wanted to add an, um, an antenna amplifier and you don't that doesn't even need to be connected to the unit because unless you install one you don't need it um, you've got another spare one here which is the steering wheel remote input which I probably mentioned earlier is that thing there but I'm not entirely sure where that goes and to be honest I never use that so if you want to mess around with that go ahead but I, I don't know how that would work so these are your main cables you've got your your earth then you've got your your battery live which is your uh, permanent power that goes that gives power to the radio so that the uh, stations are saved and then you've got this ignition power where is it ignition power red again it's usually a standard color and that is uh, to turn so the radio turns on and off it powers on and off when the ignition's turned and then you've got the illuminator which i'm not entirely sure what that is but or what that does i can't remember anyway as long as you've got it connected that's the main thing i i actually printed this off of uh, the nissan owner's website and i stuck it to the top of my radio so there you go so i'm now going to plug it in and then show you what it looks like Okay, so I just want to firstly point out that before you start cutting any cables, like I mean the only cable you're going to cut is the earth, but before you start messing around with that or connecting anything in, you want to disconnect the battery, the negative terminal on the battery, not the positive. So I've done that, so I can't start the car or unlock the doors or anything at the moment with my key. So power's off. Now I've pulled this black cable, my earth, out of the back of here. I've stripped it and I did the same on the black coming out of the ISO cable which is coming out of the back of my stereo and I've put one of these crimps on and then I'm going to crimp that to the other end so I'll come back to you in a sec better not breathe when there's a will there's a way I managed to balance that bloody thing right so because I want to point this out to you I've got my aerial that's now plugged into the back I've got my leads coming out of my stereo into my ISO cable and that's going into the the cable to the car this one's obviously left hanging and then you've got your earth cable which has now been crimped onto the earth of the car and that will work and now I'm going to all reassemble it all and then show you again what the f okay so there's been this uh, constant reference to the climate control because the two units are integrated and if you remove that one then this one doesn't work well oddly enough I found that my one was fine I took the CD player out just left the cables loose and it still worked so maybe I'm not understanding that correctly but in any case this solution does work and of course the brilliant thing about this is you don't have to have it coded it's completely separate obviously like I say this is not going to work anymore but this one definitely does my air con my heating all that works on these controls and then I've got my radio job done hope you have luck with it and uh, see you next time <laughs>